Good morning everyone, my name is Jenny Ayada from Grade 9 Section Onyx and today I'm going to discuss how the blood flow in our body. The oxygenated blood which high in oxygen and low in carbon dioxide in the pulmonary vein will be received by left atrium pass through by cosmic valve will pump by left ventricle pass through aortic valve and will exit to the largest artery which is aorta going to the rest of the body to deliver the oxygen. The oxygen uh, processes the nutrients to release energy. The carbon dioxide is given off during the process. The blood delivers carbon dioxide into the right portion of the heart and that blood is called deoxygenated blood. The deoxygenated blood enters through two large veins, the superior and inferior vena cava. The blood from the lower part of the body enters to inferior vena cava and the blood from the upper part of the body will enter to superior vena cava. The blood will receive by right atrium, pass through by cosmic valve, will pump by right eight ventricles, pass through pulmonary valve, and will exit to pulmonary artery. And that's how our heart works. Now let's talk about the key concept on how respiratory and circulatory work together. When we inhale, the air first enter to your lungs and into the left part of your heart, it is then driven by your heart into the bloodstream all the way to your body. The heart pumps blood which transport essential nutrients, oxygen, and other chemicals in every cell of the body. Once it reaches the cell, the oxygen processes the nutrients to release energy. The carbon dioxide is given off during the process. The blood delivers carbon dioxide into the blood portion of the heart from which it is pumped into the lungs. The carbon dioxide leaves the body through the lungs when we exhale. And that's how our circulatory and respiratory system work together. And that's how blood flow in the body and how the respiratory and circulatory work together. Once again, Jenny Ayala from Grade 9 Section Onyx.